Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy. Today we're going to be talking about Med Relief's topical cream and comparing it with Harvest One. And we're going to get into details about how that's going to be effective with uh, Shoppers Drug Mart in the mix. So stay tuned. There's a lot to cover. I want to disclose I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy or sell based on anything I talk about. Buy or sell after you did your own research, due diligence, and you like the investments you're pursuing. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I do truly appreciate it. Give me a... Uh, Hit the bell for notifications. Leave a leave a comment down below. So before we do that, I'm just gonna sh showcase my Twitter feed. So I'm Compound Interest Stock Guy at Twitter, and this is uh, Sammy J. So if you add me on Twitter, uh, I'm growing my Twitter quite a bit. I'm close to about 170 followers, so it's pretty good. I haven't been on Twitter for very long, but I'm pretty active on Twitter. Uh, yeah, so basically this is a list, and you can you can review it all here, and it goes to True VFF Labs, CWeb, Planet 13, OGI, CXXI, Fire, AYR, Harbor, Cresco, Green Thumbs, Kira, Afria, YCBO, Halo, Meta, Fire and Flower, in Sundial, Hexo, uh, Origin House, M. Jardine, Terrison, Deonimed, Kronos, Ian, Harvest, GW Pharma, Tilray, CCHW, ACB, Acreage, MedMen, Tilt, and Weed. And it goes through annualized sales, last quarter sales, share price right now, fully diluted share count. So it, it'll show you which companies have low share count. For example, Village Farms has 55 and 0.7, whereas, uh, whereas ACB, ACB's got 1.1 billion. So uh, these are in million shares. So a thousand would be a billion, right? Uh, and then it's got, it adds the market cap together when you uh, times this with the fully diluted to get and then it gives you the price to sales so that's the price of the market cap uh, divided by the sales for a year and then quarter over quarter growth gross margin adjusted EBITDA and uh, that's in millions and adjusting operating income so these are the ones that are all operating income positively these are the ones that are slightly, slightly in the in the losing money, and these ones are are they're losing a little bit more. Uh, like for example, Canopy lost 216 million. So, yeah, this is a good resource. Uh, look, I'm gonna look into this more. GW Pharma, as much as they're an expensive stock. Uh, Mickey D, I'll give him a shout out. He's actually been talking about GW Pharma. And, uh, you know, their price to sales isn't very bad. It's about 13. But what really stands out is their gross margins of 91%. Okay. They're not profitable yet because they're spending so much money on research. But if they weren't, they would have been profitable last quarter straight up. So, uh, yeah, enough with that. We're getting it into this other stuff. So yeah, this is my uh, compound interest stock guy. Uh, compound stock 13 is my uh, hashtag. I think that's what they say, and that's my Twitter feed. So I just I like I have the harvest one financials right here. I'm not gonna go in through them, but uh, for example, uh, five finger lid. He he saw this and he gave me uh, a like. But I was saying today, uh, I'm not going to go through this, but natural gas was it actually had a pretty good day. It was up quite a bit. So if you do uh, HNU ET, ETF for bullish uh, three times bull, then you could have made quite a bit of money today um, in percentage or on uh, in Canada. So this is what I said. I said uh, natural gas is spiking. Do your own due diligence. Uh, Encana or HNU like the horizon uh, natural gas and uh, for day trades or swing trades a few weeks or so but 
like if you do it for a long time you got to watch out for theta decay and more speculation uh pedo and and canna also has crude oil oil so they're not just natural gas so if natural gas was to go down a lot then it could uh start going down a lot too so yeah i mean i i post some information on here it's not like i just uh uh you know i just tweet retweet people's stuff you know i retweet people's stuff too but there's lots of information here i'm not telling you to watch everything or anything like that but you can get a lot of uh, different news stuff from my channel uh on twitter so there you go that it's it's just a resource right these are all resources it's up to you if you want to use them or not um so okay this is uh this is a new thing with canada uh cannabis licenses so now these are the these companies have our uh two provincial classes that, that is authorized to sell okay so they're authorized to sell these extract topic edible and topical uh harvest ones they're they're licensed to sell extracts edible topical there's there's med relief that's also their uh licenses sell hexo uh canopy um and they even believe there's a bunch of companies in here um but xenobis is as well they're there for i think they they have extracts edible and topical but i'm gonna just talk about uh harvest one because they're united greeneries facility and their topical line because they have the live relief so anyways uh another thing i want to talk about too is shoppers drug mart they have the license to sell that so that's what i'm going to get into on uh oh i didn't get it up i never did that um i'm not going to do that we got a lot to cover i'm not going to do that uh so Okay, for Shoppers Drug Mart, they have the ability to sell all these companies, right? They already have uh, distribution deals with Harvest One. They have a deal with, uh, you know, Aurora, Canamed, Med Relief, um, Xenobis, uh, Weed MD, Flower. Um, yeah, there's there's not that many. There's a few. There might I might be missing a few, but there's not too many. So you can buy oils from them and uh, flour. So and then now you can buy the Med Relief gel capsules, which are world class as far as cannabis goes. The Med Relief I think probably has world class ones. I haven't tried them, but I mean they're they're made probably the same as Aurora's, and Aurora's are world class. So that's my opinion. Uh, as far as the stock goes, I'm not like it's always super fan of playing Aurora Cannabis. I never invest in Aurora Cannabis, but I would think about doing call options at certain times if if the chart looked good to me. Um, okay, so this is their thing. It's in a package, and it's the cream, and then they mix it with cannabis oil because you couldn't put it into a combination with health canada had these regulations right so uh this is the the news release where they they launched it two years ago two years ago so i mean it's been around so where i highlighted this okay easy to follow instructions are included to allow for easy mixing of the cream with our cannabis oil in order to enable use almost immediately the product is available now so yeah that's pretty cool so it says these novel agents could offer significant relief to patients suffering from pain and inch itch in a number of inflammatory dermatoses they have already demonstrated anti-inflammatory benefits in muscle and joint disorders and the translation of this success to diseases o diseases is only logical so that's awesome uh you know that there's there's some t this is the dr jaggy rayo he's the board certified dermatologist and clinical professor of medicine at 
uh, University of Alberta. So he's backing that uh, the information. Um, you know, he's he he believes in it, so that's cool. Okay, so now we're going to get into Harvest One. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, I do have Shopper's Drug Mart. So we, we will get into Shopper's Drug Mart. Uh, so these are Dream Water. So Harvest One, you can check out the financials on my, on my Twitter page. I'm not going to go through them. But basically, they didn't do that good. They did about $3 million, So I wasn't too, too impressed with that. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not good. They, so now they have uh, Dream Water. They they've had Dream Water for quite a bit, and what this has is it's sold in over thirty thousand outlets. First mover in the global OTC sleep aid market, worth two point five billion annually. Health Canada and FDA approved, and sold through uh, retailers including Walmart, uh, US, USA, and Kroger. CVS, Shoppers Drug Mart, 7-Eleven, Circle K. And CBD-based formulations currently undergoing stability testing. So, I mean, uh, they could have those those line up uh, come like January in, in Canada, potentially, and in USA for, for hemp CBD in USA. So, I'm looking forward to that because... Uh, <laughs> Time's running out. I got I got a lot of warrants. So with Harvest One, and it, it needs to it needs to be a lot higher than where it is. So I could probably be out of the money. Um, yeah, it was pretty risky for what I did. I knew I knew the risk that I was it was I was gonna lose nothing, uh, lose everything. That's that's why I don't tell people to buy buy warrants, right? I don't really talk too much about warrants, but if you get warrants they're way out of the money that's the risk you take now if they go in the money you can make a lot of money so it was it was uh i was gonna do really good on that because i figured i had a chance i still got chance i got three months right so if they if the you know these companies start going up a lot and people see the upside for dream water and uh delivera uh, there, yeah, there's a YouTuber. He commented. I, I can't remember how to say his name, so I don't want to butcher his name. I don't have it here. It was like Ned something. Uh, he was uh, telling me about uh, Harvest One's like really good, and I was like, yeah, I agree. They are a good player. So he really likes them. Uh, he thinks they're going to be profitable in 2020, and I think they got a good chance uh, if they... They're in a lot of countries now. They're in UK for their uh, gel pill, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so this is their Live Relief, and this is awesome. Live Relief is, I've tried this, Dr. Joe's Pain Relief Cream, Chronic Angry Pain Relief Cream, Sports and Active Pain Relief Cream, okay? So these are in a lot of places. Uh, they were bought just recently, but this is a brand, right, that people know when they go to Shoppers Drug Mart. I mean, they see it everywhere you can buy it at superstore there's there's a bunch of places you can buy it so it's not it's not as if no one's heard of this this company people have heard of this company so they're gonna uh, infuse it with CBD so that's that's awesome uh, so they say it's a, a driving force in transdermal delivery market leader in natural topical pain relief creams Number one nat selling natural pain relief cream in Canada under the Live Relief brand. Selling number one selling nerve pain relief can under the Live Relief brand. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's that was the same. Oh, nerve and natural pain relief. Nerve pain relief and natural pain relief. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nerve pain relief. So, uh, current portfolio of seven OT over-the-counter products available for sale in retail locations with an additional 30 over-the-counter and cannabis-related products that are ready to go to market once regulations allow. 30 over-the-counter. Boom shakalaka. Yeah, boom shakalaka. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, they got beat today. Beat so hard because... Uh, 
the financials came out and they weren't very good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to get uh, Harvest One, uh, you may not get a better opportunity than buying them right now. Uh, they could go lower. I think if they go a lot lower to, to around like 15 cents or 20 cents, I, I'm not going to be able to hold off and I'll buy 10,000 shares because that way I have them for you know a long time and then I can cash out if it goes to a dollar, two dollars. So, because uh, I don't think this, this company is going out of business anytime soon. Uh, strong IP with seven patent pending applications, four registered, as well as synthetic drugs under GMP certified manufacturing to yield liquid crystals and a polymeric water to uses FDA approved non-medicinal ingredient for a worldwide finished product, uh, Advil ibuprofen cream. So that, that, those are examples. So. These are the products, the healing cream that are going to come out, heals cuts, burning, and sores fast. Uh, uh, t -t 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 pain relief. <laughs> oh, my battery died for the light. <laughs> yeah, light lighting issues, you know, having them. Just something I have to deal with when I'm on the road. Uh, don't really have a place. Sometimes setting up. I have this. Uh, where is it? Uh. Oh, here it is. It's right here. This is a, a light. It's called a Lytra Torch 2.0. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bright, right? But this is a. Uh, it'll die, right? So. It, it needs to be charged, so that's the dealio. So I'm um, not going to try to use it for a second. Uh, 750 milligram CBD, pain relief cream, fast-acting, non-greasy, THC-free. So I think that look is going to be very, 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 very sexy in the topical market to be <laughs> compete with... Uh, Med Relief's product, because people know Med Relief's product in the medical medicinal market, but people that are new to being, uh, you know, I think that's just going to do really good because it's people that work for Shoppers Drug Mart already know this product, right? The people that are pharmacists, I mean, uh, I mean, the way the way the ca the cannabis are sold for Shoppers Drug Mart, it's all through online. But I'm pretty sure the the people that are gonna work on the online store, they're gonna know a bit about this product because maybe they worked in the store already, right? They've worked at stores, and when the Sharpers Drug Mart, the um, the uh, pharmacist, they talk to you. Uh, if they're not busy getting people drugs. They, they know the over-the-counter products, right? They can help people with over-the-counter products because they need to kind of know that stuff because certain over-the-counter products aren't good with certain um, prescription drugs that they that they have to give to uh, patients. So, I mean, that's, that's in their job tasks. So, when they're not busy, they help out people. So, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if the, the pharmacists that working online they've they've helped people lots and told them to, to use this product so when they're going to be talking to the pharmacists to to patients i mean when they're uh talking over the phone and a person wants to get uh topical i mean they're gonna the, because I've, I've worked with uh canmart you know i've just getting product with canmart and they told me which which uh medical licensed producer to, to kind of go with they'll give me information they're not going to tell me which exactly to go to but they tell me you know uh at at say canna farms you can get cheaper uh cannabis oils or something like that or they have a lot of products or something and then they'll say oh well this doesn't have much cbd oil or something so they're very knowledgeable so 
they're going to be pretty much pointing people towards this product. I believe it's not going to happen overnight because people who are medical patients aren't necessarily going to be uh, inked towards going towards a Harvest One product or a Live Relief product because they're used to buying, say, um, Med Relief or Aurora or Canamed or, you know, something such as that. So they're not used to, to buying a Live Relief, right? But over time, I absolutely believe this will be very, very popular. And then in the USA as well, this is going to be in the USA as well. All these products because they have the same distribution abilities because they're already with the dream water. So they're going to use the same distribution towards the, the USA. So <laughs> that advantage is, is amazing. Uh, it's something that not many companies have the ability to do. And uh, I think it's Will Stewart. He's, he's sharing that story. Uh, you can find lots of videos online on YouTube about, uh, you know, Harvest One and learn the story. And he, he thinks this stuff's great. So, uh, yeah. The Sadi Farm CBD Gel Pel. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, I haven't tried this because it's not in Canada. But I would like to try it. I have tried, you know, CBD capsules. So distribution agreement with uh, Holland and Barrett, Europe's largest retailer of wellness products. So that ability, um, I don't know how much product they're getting to to the Holland and Barrett. So over time, maybe they can get a lot more product and really uh, amp their sales. So that's going to really help them out on their uh, financials. Distribution agreement with, with Health House for the Australian, New Zealand, and Asian markets or regulation permit. Uh, supply agreement with Gen Canna, one of the largest U.S. hemp extractors for GMP certified CBD oil and finished products. I believe uh, uh, Marymed uh, is connected with Gen Canna, but uh, where they have a deal with them. But yeah, I think. I'm looking forward to seeing this deal really, really grow because if they're the biggest, one of the largest U.S. hemp extractors, then they can really, uh, you know, ramp up the amount of uh, CBD oil that that they can put into uh, Harvest's, Harvest One's products. Their uh, gel pill, their live, live relief and their dream water products. So they plan to launch sales in Canada in early 2020. So that'll be a big catalyst because the the big products on the market are uh, Aurora and the, uh, uh, I think it's Spectrum. I don't know if Spectrum actually has any. Maybe they do, but there's Tweed, there's Tweed capsules, and then Xenobis has some set, has some CBD capsules, but they're, they're not, near nearly in the same ballpark as that but i think these ones uh uh people may not like these as much like they're not going to melt in your mouth as much but i think they may be more beneficial for people so the health uh, and the wellness people are going to start to gravitate towards this product i think so this has been very well researched it's not as though they just made this product in a month and then they put it out in the market uh yeah so the, okay the gel pelt uh, process produces two millimeter gelatin pet beads containing a payload of cannabinoids contains uh, full spectrum cbd hemp based extract including terp terpenes and flavonoids that's awesome when ingested, because I'm I'm not sure that the other CBD capsules on the market have terpenes and flavonoids added to them. Um, it could just be the CBD. I'm not sure. When ingested, the gelatin beads create a micro emulsion which enhances bioavailability and the body's absorption of CBD. Uh, what is it? 30% higher bioavailability, higher stability, full spectrum CBD heck. Uh, hemp extract. Hemp extract. Sadi Farm gel pelt increases bioavailability of CBD and the body's absorption of cannabinoids. The beads are encapsulated and packaged under Swiss GMP protocols into 10 milligrams and 50 milligram capsules. 
uh, the beads bypass the stomach and release in the lower intestine, which helps ensure accurate and consistent dosing. So, yeah, I mean, so they, they've already done clinical trials on this. Uh, for the products that uh, Aurora has, I don't know if there's any clinical trials, right? So this is uh, in another ballpark, right, as far as that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, just think about that for, for a second. Uh, phase one bioavailability and stability trial undertaken to prove bioavailability and stability study in direct comparison to GW Pharma's Sativex product. So uh, in that, uh, where is it? It the high, higher bioavailability, availability 1.2 to 1.3 times of active compounds in comparison to GW Pharmaceutical Oral Mucosal Spray Sativex. So. Eight hours exposure time in the blood so demonstra demonstrable safety and tolerability profile with no significant side effects and uh, the results were uh, reduction median reduction monthly seizures was uh, minus 82% so if people were having say uh, 10 seizures a month then they were only having about like 1.5 to 2 I think and uh, if they were having 100, then they were only having about 15 to 20. So that's amazing. <clears throat> 56% of patients had a reduction of at least 50% in total number of seizures. 73% of patients were rated as very much improved, improved in overall con condition. Two patients were fully seizure-free within five weeks five weeks that's uh 35 days so they're having seizures and then they started taking that zero zero uh get that through your brain that's 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 a good result on a clinical trial <laughs> cannabis is gonna be there for a long time um i my brother's having seizures right now i haven't uploaded the video but uh uh, yeah, I talk about that, and uh, yeah, I mean, they're just giving him drugs, so I would much rather him try to use this to to uh, decrease the seizures. Shoppers Drug Mart is the leading drugstore retailer in Canada with more than 1,300 stores. Sati Farm Cannabis available through Shoppers Online in Ontario and Alberta. So that's, that's all... Uh, where uh, shoppers is they're not in BC they're not in Quebec they're not in Saskatchewan that's the only provinces they're in so a big catalyst for shoppers will be when they're in BC uh, Saskatchewan Manitoba uh, Prince Edward Island Nova Scotia New Brunswick on and on uh, only 12 licensed producers so yeah exactly there's not too many companies that have deals so uh, they do these in uh, only 12 with uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. That's, you know, they're they're exclusive. They're in a really tight, tight, um, you know, and the ability when they have these topical products, they're not competing with, you know, but it don't matter because that, that product's going to be winning, I believe. I mean, whether Med Relief's a lot ahead of them, they're still going to have a big market share for the topical products, I believe, just because... People are going to know that name. Two initial varieties available, Indica variety of Sati Silver and a hybrid variety of Sati Green. So Indica is uh, where you get sleepy and uh, a hybrid is uh, in between Indica and Sativa and it's Sati Green. Uh, so yeah, they just they have it all based in different colors, 10, 9, 8, 7, so that's high CBD is the purple and high THC is white. So it's interesting. So they have more products coming out, right? All around the globe, all around the globe. And, uh, but I'm hoping that happens soon because else they're not going to deliver on what they wanted to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you bought Delivera. You have to deliver. <laughs> Select products, uh, Sati Farm CBD soft gels and spray 
and uh, 500 milligrams CBD oil. It's, uh, it looks like lemon and lime, so that's an interesting. And Sadi Farm CBD topical cream, CBD 5%. So, um, yeah, I mean, I hope this product as well comes to line up uh, in because there's patients going through uh, that only use Sadi Farm with Sharper's Drug Mart. So, they're going to be pushed towards trying out the topical cream from Sadi Farm. So, that's awesome. Sadi Farm CBD THC oil and a 500 milligram uh, cannabinoid uh, vape pen. So, yep. I think this this may be a product that maybe it'll be on the rec market very soon, but maybe it'll be the Royal High, because Royal High is also. So they also have the burb that was at the location. Uh, yeah, they look nice, hey? So in this, this is, I think this is the one I went to actually, because this is their main store. So what these are is the uh, small bongs and then they, uh, they put a cork in it. So you can take the cork out and then smell it and then, uh, you know, smell all the, you know, all the terpenes and all that nice aroma. So you can tell which cannabis it has, has really nice, uh, you know, it's a nice smell to it. So that's a very nice feature of this burb. Uh, Port Coquitlam, two, two locations. Uh, there's further expansion planned throughout Canada, including Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario. That's awesome. I didn't, I never knew that before. I must have looked past that. But uh, they, and they have brand like merchand, merchandise, clothing line. And uh, Grant Freeze is appointed to board of directors. So they own 20%. So that's the maximum in BC. And they're estimated to open 8 to 10 retail uh, dispensaries in BC. Three-tiered expansion plan. So, so COO, Mr. Kane is a lawyer by profession with almost 25 years, including general counsel to a U.S. $5 billion uh, global hedge fund. Wow. General counsel. General counsel to a U.S. five billion dollar global hedge fund. <laughs> I never read that before, but hey, I like billionaires. Yep. Deb Milamaka, CAO and CPO. She's known for building dynamic strategies within the business and uh, human resources. Mr. Wong is a, a charter professional accountant. With 15 years of finance, he has been with Harvest One since December 27. Uh, Mr. Melchup is a global executive with over 25 years of technology experience, including 15 years in the cannabis industry. Ms. Oh, Andy Bayfield, he's he's a guy that uh, uh, Will Stewart, he's been really saying that this guy's top-notch guy so this is his resume his mr bafel is a senior executive from the consumer packaged goods industry with over 25 years of experience he has held senior level position with organizations like cadbury coca-cola and canada dry mots so that's pretty nice what else so they got the president of Deliver. So Deliver used to be a, a, a stock, whether it was on the TSX or the TSX fee, and it was worth about 30 to 45, 50 million, and uh, they acquired them. They have very nice profit margins as well. So that's going to be awesome for the rec market. Yeah, and the health and wellness market in USA. So absolutely he has a doctorate in molecular pharmacology from mcmaster university and uh david hyde is on the advisory board um, most people in that who know the industry know about this guy he's uh uh he's president of 360 secure corp uh the safe csc and will stewart he's a well-known can canadian cannabis and a leading influence in the can cannabis industry 
He has worked for years in political and corporate circles, pushing for legalization and reducing stigma. And uh, Jonathan Hart's horn is the president of Sally Farm. So that's awesome. They got all these top guys. Uh, he has a d degree in pharmacology and physiology, as well as a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants. So, hey, um, more at... Uh, more diplomas up people's yin yang that's good uh who's the investor relations so they have 250 million shares market cap of 94 million warrants 35.9 million and options at 20.3 million and cash 30 million back in March 20 31st. They don't have as much cash now, but they I think they have about 20 maybe maybe I'm wrong. I got to read that. Um insider holdings is 26% which is MMJ holding and this holdings also has um they have Metafarm Labs. <laughs> Average volume is around 500,000 shares traded. So, uh, Mackey Research, ha Craig McLeish has a $2 target, and Haywood Securities has a $120 target. So, hope that those hit really quick. <laughs> um, yeah, that's th that's the presentation. The Harvest One guy, he emailed me because I subscribed to their newsletter. So I I emailed him. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try, I could try to talk to him one of these days, uh, get some more insight on what Harvest One is up to. But I mean, I've been following uh, Will Stewart's uh, interviews. I'm pretty up to date. I mean, and they can't tell me things that aren't on the news release, right? That would be insider information. So. That's the Dilio. So Afria, that's a company I didn't uh, say, but yeah, they're in these uh, Shoppers Drug Mart and uh, WeedMD, Broken Coast, Tilray. Tilray is also there. Yeah, forgot to say Tilray and uh, Med Relief, Flower. And Starseed, that's the, the company that Xenobis has a deal with. So that's oil. An emblem, which is Alephia. Tilray CBD oil. Aurora CBD drops. I don't think they have the the topical cream. Candy med med relief. Yeah, med relief products are very expensive. So, yep. Okay, so so I didn't get very much information when I was digging for uh for how big the topical market is, and my my thinking is I don't think anybody really knows, right? Uh, a big company. Abacus, they they FDA approved for their CBD topical cream, and they had Gronk. He's a football player uh, promoting their product, and he they don't have much shares out. I have a hundred shares of that company, but basically, uh, what I'm going to try to say, basically they're selling about three million dollars. Uh, every quarter somewhere around there right maybe they're gonna blow up and they're gonna start doing like 10 million soon uh, now that Gronk is kind of and maybe like before you know it like a year or two two years they're, they'll start doing 150 200 right 300 million uh, it's all up to you know if they're the gross there right and they they get more distribution and the, the product takes off so my thinking is okay if that's a big product and there's all these other products maybe in the US USA it has a potential to be a billion dollars and then you know when 
when uh, USA is is a twenty billion or thirty billion or forty billion dollar industry. So it's going to be maybe about like two and a half percent of the sales. So I'm thinking that that could be very well in Canada now with legalization 2.0. They're saying somewhere around the whole amount of revenue should be around like 1.8 to 3 billion. So uh, for 2020, so if it was two and a half percent, three thousand. I don't know, somewhere around like 75 million, I think. Somewhere, I think for 3 billion, that would be 75 million. So that's the kind of potential. So now, if uh, uh, Live Relief got, say, like 30%, then th that would be about 25 million. So that'd be awesome if they did that. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to expect they're going to do that, but I'm saying they have the potential, I think, because topical. When it starts taking off, it, it probably could be pretty popular. So, um, yeah, with Med Relief and, uh, you know, Harvest One's uh, Live Relief and Aurora products and Tilray's probably got a product and some other companies got products. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, they do. Uh, I know that they're not the only ones that are submitting for topicals. So we'll see how big that industry, maybe it's going to be bigger. This, this headline says that... Uh, Cannabis topicals, cream, salves, and lotion. Why seniors are thriving. Okay, so that's awesome. I uh, highlight this. How do cannabis topicals work? Cannabis topicals are transdermal methods of binding cannabinoids found in cannabis to CB2 receptors found in the body's endocannabinoid system. When cannabinoids bind with CB2 CB2 receptors, the body experiences a, a decrease in inflammation and a relief from pain. Because there are CB2 receptors found close to the surface of the skin, in most cases, applying a topical to the area experienced pain will provide a faster, more localized pain relief than smoking or ingesting marijuana. I'm going to repeat that. In most cases, applying a topical to the area experiencing pain will provide a faster, more localized pain relief than smoking or ingesting marijuana. Topicals are an excellent form of pain relief for patients who don't want to use pharmaceutical medications and at the same time do not want the high you get from smoking or ingesting marijuana. This is because cannabinoids and topicals bind to CB2 receptors near the skin so that compounds are never absorbed into the bloodstream. Not to be confused with transdermal that differ from topical creams in that the medicine enters directly into the bloodstream by penetrating through all seven layers of, and thus can have a psychoactive effect. Okay, the transdermal patches that sounds pretty good if it was uh if it was uh CBD. So uh oh yeah I would try that <laughs> hell yeah. So um anyways uh that's very uh, descriptive on the information on the topical market and i showcased it uh harvest one their product lines and uh med relief and shoppers drug mart their uh their platform and uh you know it's going to be industry interesting how things uh shake up and uh yeah anyways uh thanks for watching this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't uh subscribe and uh to peace i'm out